Welcome ladies and gentlemen, it is Targran and here is yet another episode of Lore of League of Legends for you. We're leaving Noxus for the time being in order not to favour any city-state. In this particular episode we'll be explaining to you the history of Jarvan the Fourth and Shivana, the Half-Dragon, as well as the connection between those two. Enjoy. Jarvan has been born into the royal family of Damasia. As first son of King Jarvan Lightshield III and successor to the crown of the city-state, since his earliest days he has been brought up in spirit of Damasian praise of justice and truth like his father before him. He was meant to be a good ruler and a true leader that his men needed, not only as a politician but as a warrior as well. In his younger years Jarvan had been taught the art of war and learned how to use a spear. His life was never easy but the young prince understood that it was absolutely necessary. He realised that when his father would be gone he would be forced to carry the burden of ruling Damasia and ensuring its survival. When Jarvan had grown up enough to be a part of a proud Damasian military, he had been serving not only as a commander, but as a soldier as well. On numerous occasions, the prince would stand side by side with his soldiers and fight in the first lines of his army. But like his father, he thought that staying back would be showing a lack of courage. His men could always see him fighting, bleeding and winning alongside them. He was their leader and not just some voice shouting commands from behind. Young Jarvan had been an average commander, but a great warrior. Unfortunately, when his troops met with a group led by Jericho Swain, he had been outmaneuvered and caught into one of Swain's famous diversions. His troops had been surprised and slain, and the prince himself captured by the Noxian general. In other circumstances, Jarvan would be transported under Noxus, where he'd be waiting until his father could offer the high command something they wanted from Tarsia. This time, however, the assault had taken place deep into Damasian territory, and so transporting the prisoner would be too dangerous. Instead, he was meant to be killed as a warning for all of Damasia. Minutes before the execution, Garen had found the camp, and leading his dauntless vanguard, had rescued his close friend and Prince Jarvan from Noxian hands. But those who were close to the young prince realised that short period of captivity had changed something about the young man. They claimed he was constantly staring into the distance, not paying attention to those around him. Inside he felt weak, he felt unworthy of being the next leader of Damasia. He had been tricked and caused many deaths because of his ignorance. What Jarvan needed was to prove that he was not useless. Without any explanation, he had personally picked 12 men that he had trusted and left the city to find inner peace. He began to track and dispose of dangerous criminals, bandits, traitors, he was hunting for beasts that were feared by local people. He spent months helping inhabitants of Beloran, as well as honing his own skills. Soon he got tired of such prey and started looking for something more challenging. Followed by his small company, Jarvan headed for the southern part of the continent, beyond the Great Barrier. For two years, nobody had heard from him. When many had lost their hope, Jarvan had returned to his homeland, wearing armour decorated with bones and horns of weird creatures. While his physical appearance did not change too much, he had grown much more mature and serious. He had sworn to bring the enemies of Damasia to their knees, not only as a prince, but Damasia's representative in the League as well. Out of the twelve men that Jarvan had taken with him from Damasia, only two of them returned, joined by a mysterious woman called Shivana. Shivana is one of very rare half-dragons. Not many dragons want to be disturbed by human affairs, even less want to take part in them directly. But yet, there are rare cases of dragons that change their shape into humans and sometimes visit the society. Shivana's father was one of such dragons. While staying amongst humans, he had fallen in love with one of them. Realising that he had gifted the woman with a child, he stayed with her until the child was born, and then promised to take care of the girl. For that act, he had been cast out from dragon society, and his daughter deemed impure abomination that would never be worthy to join the other dragons. Amongst dragons, there was one that was especially upset with the choice of Shivana's father, and had sworn to punish him for his treachery. This caused both Shivana and her father to constantly run, unable to find any place to stay. If they would find a place to call home, it was destroyed a few days later. This caused Shivana to grow hateful, savage, and aggressive. All she knew was hatred, and the only person that has ever loved her was her father. When he was struck down by his pursuer late years later, Shivana had promised to find the dragon and avenge the death of her father. Furious, she followed his trail, determined to find him and fight the dragon in a duel. When the young half-dragon had been reaching her goal, 
she'd met with a group of armed men on the road. While soldiers had been clearly afraid of the mysterious weird person, their leader did not seem to share their fear. He approached Shivana and introduced himself as Prince of Demacia, Jarvan IV. He'd offered to help her in a quest for vengeance. Together they'd been able to track down the dragon and confront him. Shivana had never expected the men to survive, she just needed them to serve as a distraction. Yet during the battle, they had proven to be mighty skilled warriors. With joint force, they had drove the dragon into submission and allowed Shivana to strike the final blow. She tore the dragon's heart from his chest in an impressive show of ferocity and strength. This had impressed Jarvan, who offered Shivana a place in the ranks of his elite guard. Even though the guards were still afraid of the woman, she always wanted a true home, and now with her father gone, she had nowhere else to go. Reluctantly, she accepted the offer of the Damasian prince. Her new allies have gradually grown more accustomed to the presence of Shivana, but humans would rather keep their distance. Even if Shivana was in a human form, they could feel her power, the power of the dragon hidden within. And that's all we prepared for you this time round. Let us know if you like the video by clicking that like button and adding this video to your favourites. You can also click the like button on our Facebook page, follow us on Twitter and watch all the previous episodes. And as always, I'll see you next time.